for two and a half hours, ECU fans took shelter under Clark LeClaire Stadium as the rain washed over Greenville, halting the Pirates series opener with Wichita State. But good conversation, food and vibes made the time pass by quickly. And before you know it, the Pirates were back out on the field as an original six o'clock start time became 830, where the Pirates ran out and all white defend their home field. So with the delay slow down Trey Savage, yeah, absolutely not getting three strikeouts to start the first inning ending the night with 15 knockouts holy cannoli but offensively what a night for leadoff man Riley Johnson at the plate three of five two RBIs including a triple for a Pirates 6-4 victory to shake off the rain and start the weekend off the right way. All right, and just across the parking lot, ECU softball hosting South Florida, where Kanisha Anderson, this looks like she's just gonna run out and be out, but no, the ball, little bit to the right. She takes two bases, and this fan getting an up close and real checkout of a real Pirate sword. So yes, the rain delay would stop the Pirates from playing for a little bit, but Morgan Johnson picking up where she left off in the left field. The bomb tied it up two to two, and that momentum would just carry the Pirates on throughout this game as ECU takes game one, six to two over the Bulls. All right, let's head on over to Winston-Salem where Wake Forest hosting Florida State. Adam Tellier with a beauty of a base knock, but he would extend it for a two bases, a double. He's hyped, and so are the number 12 team in the country, getting the win five to four, just squeaking by the Seminoles. And how about another one run game? Top of the ninth inning, it's Ben Miller with a solo shot home run in the deep left of field. It's now tied up eight to eight. He gets the congratulations at home plate, but then we go to the bottom of 11. One more out needed for the Blue Devils to take the first game, and then they get it on the road in Blacksburg, Virginia, a 9-8 victory for Duke for the number seventh ranked team. What a game through 11 innings. All right, let's head on over to Raleigh. Still recovering from last night's Brandon Butterworth walk off. Vance Honeycutt with a deep home run right out of the gates. UNC hoping for some revenge. Then Parks Harbor snags his second home run of the series. Yeah, the Tar Heels are feeling good right now, up big. But but here come the pack. The hero last night, yes, Brandon Butterworth, adding some syrup on this RBI into center field and coming home and sliding. Yes, sir. It would be tied up four to four. And then a wild pitch brings in the leading runner. And guess what? Wolfpack win again for another one run, edging of the Tar Heels, clinching the series in Raleigh. Speaking of NC State, former Tar or former Wolfpack and Farmville Central star Traquavion Smith was named to the G League All Rookie Team today. The six foot four guard average. 22 points, nearly four assists for the Delaware Blue Coats this year, and he even made a few appearances for the 76ers, including a 17 point performance against the Nets. Still on a two way contract, Baby T will see if he can get a guaranteed one going into next season. And how about the present NC State players? To new ones, Kinston native Dontre Styles will be wearing Wolfpack red after transferring from Georgetown to NC State. The junior guard is coming off a career high season of 12.8 points per game for the Hoyas, along with nearly six rebounds a game. Style started his collegiate career as a Tar Heel, but will rejoin the ACC for a different NC squad, hoping for another run to the Final Four next year. And at the NBA level, Northside Panther Bam Adebayo in the Heat hosting the Chicago Bulls with a spot in the playoffs on the line. Showing off his quarterback skills with the early assist full court throw, Bam would finish with 13 points. Goldsboro native for the Bulls, Kobe White also tacked on 13, but Miami gets the win 112-91 to to keep their season alive, playing Boston in the first round of the playoffs. So the Heat get the win, and for Kinston native Brandon Ingram, the Pelicans up by 11 in the third quarter, 79 to 68 on the Sacramento Kings. And the Hurricanes, you don't have to wait any longer. Tomorrow at 5 o'clock, Carolina, the second seed hosting the seventh seed in New York Islanders, a series split of 2-1-1 over the regular season, where Jake Gunsel, Andre Shvezhnikov, and Sebastian Ajo will be the go-to guys for that start tomorrow at PNC Arena. All right, that'll do it for sports tonight. For News 12, I'm Luke Schwartz, and that's tonight's edition of Sports with Schwartz.